If you see a tail wagon right here, that's the dog. <laughs> hey guys, it's Leah. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first update of my makeup use up slash project pan. I think project pan can include a makeup use up. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. Let me know which name you prefer because I think it's the same. Anyway, I just wanted to go through and do an update. I've used up a few things. There's a few things I've decided it's just not going to work out. Um, and I'm bringing in some new things. So, let's just go through it. So, I've been putting up the things as I've used them in here. Uh, just a candle drawer. Repurposing. <laughs> um, so, I've used up four products. Um, the foundation I used up is the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Foundation. I had that much of it left and I used it up. It was about 8, 10 applications. I liked this. It was a nice foundation. Um, it just wasn't anything like magical. It was a nice like high, medium, low, full coverage foundation. It wasn't really like dewy as I thought. One day I mixed it with an oil and it was a little bit dewier, but I used this up. Happy. I used up a mascara. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I didn't have that much in it and it's dried out, gone. Mascara goes quickly. I had multiples open. That's why I'm just throwing mascaras in here and using them up. Sticking to one until it's gone. Speaking of mascaras, <laughs> Uh, another one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is a sample size of the mascara. I used this one completely up. It's dried and done. Um, I have one more smaller of these and then the waterproof is still going in my pan. And then an eyeliner I used up completely is the Marc Jacobs Skinny Fine Liner in Black Gore. Completely used it up. It doesn't even twist anymore. <laughs> um, so, I knew that one would go fast. So, those are the four products I have used up. I'm so excited. And then, two products I'm taking out because I just, I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, first is this. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. I had two NYX Butter Glosses in the Makeup Use Up, but um, I've since found other things and it's really hard to use this. Like, I thought these were like the thinnest consistency lip gloss and then I tried other things and now it's really hard to use these. So, I'm keeping the other one in here, but Tiramisu, I'm taking out of the pan. We can put something else in. Then a product to pan was the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. I just, I just haven't touched it. I just really don't, I don't know what it is about it. I really like this, but I just have other blushes that I really want to use up. And it's getting like hard pan on it. So I think I'm going to take this one out. I'll show you and see. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's getting hard paint on it and I just don't reach for it so much. So I may put something else in, but I know for sure taking this one out. I color coded everything. All of the oranges are in the Mecca Fuse Up and then the greens are in the Project Pan. Like they have tra like traditional pans, but we're just doing an overview, an update for all of these. Um, I'll start with this. This eyeshadow is the Wet n Wild in Brulee. I have hit a major pan. I'm so excited. And hit wall over here. I am so excited about this. I love this. I use it every day. So I'm going through it quickly. But I'm still happy of the progress of this. Oh, eyeshadow base. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And you can see on the back here the progress I've made. I use this every day I put it on makeup. I only wear makeup like three times a week probably. 
Um, and you don't use that much. So this is going to take forever, forever to use. So I've made good progress on it, I feel. I don't know, but that's where we are. Oh, I forgot to put this in the products I used up. This is the concealer. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer in Fair. It's completely like used up. Um, there's nothing left in it. Like I've squeezed all of it and it like spurts out air in like a speckle concealer. So this is completely used up. So there's five products I've used up. So good deal. Moving on to primers. This is a L'Oreal Magic Gloomy Primer. I've used this a few times, but you can't um, test to see how much is in here. So, I don't know, but I've used it a few times. One I have only used once <laughs> is the Smashbox Primer Oil. I don't know why. I just don't reach for this. So, we haven't moved. We're still at the same spot. I'm going to get to it, really. <laughs> uh, a primer I have gotten a lot of use out is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer. Um, here's the marks on it. I think that's pretty good. I don't know how much is really left in here, but that's to where I can get it to. They have a good chunk of it left. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing pretty well on this. In six weeks, I've got it down to here. So, I feel like that's good. Um, this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I've used a good amount of this. It's not as wide as this. I think that's the problem is this one's so wide. Um, this one's not that wide. So, I've used a good chunk of it. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's the only thing I'm wearing on my skin today. I love this. Like, truly, truly love this. I think when I finish this, I will actually go out and buy a full size of this. It's my favorite. I really want to try the cream as well. So, um, but yeah, I really like this. I use it all the time. Um, another primer is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have used a good chunk of it. You can see the marks there. I'm trying to hold it steady. You can see the marks there. I've used it. I've used it just regularly. Um, I've just been more conscious to use it. I don't know if it does anything. I don't, I don't really think so. Um, but it's a nice, like, refreshing spray, I guess. So, I'm just trying to use it. I don't think this is a necessary thing. <laughs> I have pencils. I went ahead and marked these. I haven't made much progress on this brown. I've been using the uh, Marc Jacobs black, but you can see there is a little bit on the brown. And this is the progress on the Sephora Wide Eyed pencil. I use this only on the waterline, so it doesn't take that much, but I've made it a little bit of progress so this is still going to last me months. Mascara I've moved to. This is the Lash Blast. I think it's, what is it, CoverGirl Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. I've started this one in the pan and I've also started the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. I'm trying to use these together. This one is on its last leg there's not that much left i started it about two weeks ago and it's very dry so this is only going to last me a week or two and then i'm going to keep using this one and then two other mascaras i'm adding in are these these are already open they've been open a while so i need to use these up um, when I finish those two, I'm going to move on to this. This is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. I like this one, but I like the one with fibers, I think, a little bit better. But um, This one's been open a while, but I've only used it like a handful of times. And then this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. 
I don't know what state it's in, but hopefully I'll get a little bit of use out of it. It's like smearing around the edge of it. But this will be going in the pan also. And then the next butter gloss, this is the gloss I've been using. I can't really tell any difference. I have been using it, but I just can't see any markings. I haven't like had it sitting up straight for a few days. So we'll see on that. Um, since I finished that concealer, I'm adding in another concealer. This is the NYX HD Studio Concealer in Fair Porcelain. Porcelain. Um, it's pretty light. It's not as light as my Tarte one, so I'll probably have to mix these. I'm not hoping to finish this. This is brand new. Um, I'm not hoping to finish this. I would just like to make some progress on it. I would say I would include my Tarte, but I know you use like a dapple, a drop, a dot. Here we go. A dot of them. So it would be a task to ever finish one. And then last thing in here is the Project Pan items. Um, I have a three that I'm trying to hit pan on or finish the pan. Um, and I'll put up pictures here to show you a comparison. But this is the City Color Be Matte Blush in Papaya. You can see the waffles underneath it. It's pretty good. Um, I feel like shortly I should like, I can feel the waffles when I run my fingers over it. So I think it's just a matter of time to I'll actually like hit them with a the brush. But super excited for the progress on that one. Uh, this is the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in Fair. I feel like I have made progress on this. Like there's a good dip in it. The smallest dap in here or like kicks up a lot and covers a lot so I don't use that much of it. You can still see the words just the tiniest bit over here but I have made a good dent in it. Again I'll show you comparison photos so I'm happy with this. I don't know if I'll hit pan on this but I'm still going to work for it. And the last Project Pan item is the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I feel like I'm like getting places on this. On most of it. Um, I've started using this shade on the end, Venus, as um, a highlighter. If I want a highlighter on my face, um, just to top this off or anything like that, I'll use that. Um, this shade I really don't get that much use out of. I just don't really like it. The consistency or anything of it. Walk of Shame. I haven't gotten much more progress on it because it just kind of messes with my brush. Um, I still use Naked 2. Um, I've been using this one like exclusively for my crease and if I want to darken it a little bit I will use Faint to darken it up. I just don't use that much darkness on my eyes that much so I'll be happy if I get like a good dip in Faint. But I really just don't see me hitting pan on it. And then Crave, the black over here. I've, I use this all the time. I am almost hit pan, I hit the side over here. I completely hit the side over here. But I use this as like an eyeliner. I don't use liquid or any other kind of eyeliner. I just use a black eyeshadow. It's soft. It works. It's not messy. So I just use this for a black eyeliner just to deepen the lash line. So I'm pretty, I mean, I feel like I've done pretty well on this. I'm going to keep working at it. We'll see how far we get at the end of this. So yeah, that's my update. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Any suggestions or questions, anything like that, just leave it down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.